Now, you've been using my Vepsilin on your horses for two, three years now? Possibly? Yes, at least that. Okay. Maybe more. And, and how did you get started? Do you remember how you got started on it? I started on it because you gave me some samples okay. to try. Okay. Which we found very effective on all sorts of little wounds initially. And then later on bigger and bigger wounds, which we had wonderful results from. Okay. Now, you told me of one case where the horse was actually needed stitching. And you, you put it on the stitches. Could you tell me about that? Yes, a fully pretty shoulder. Probably had 140 stitches on a moving joint, which the vets didn't think would hold. And we just represented the stitches every day, and it healed beautifully with not even a scar. Okay. Now, you also gave me those three lovely photographs that are now on a brochure. Now, could you tell me a little bit of the story about that, where the first one, it looks a really bad wound? That was a pressure wound from straw going down a plaster cast yes. and causing an injury. And uh, as you can see from the pictures, day one, we cleaned it, put Repsilin on it, and you've got a picture of day two. And then the result two weeks later, and that was just literally Repsilin. Okay. Now, I'm told it stops the itch. The horses... It definitely stopped the itch because initially when that came off, she wanted to bite it. It was so itchy. Which she never did, well, she didn't get the chance because it was bandaged closed. But by the time we took the bandage off, there was no more itch. And so it healed very well. Okay. And you were telling me something at the sales where a horse um, got, got injured at the sales recently? Now that also was just a reasonably small injury, but also healed very well. And the other thing we use it for at the sales is horses that rub their tails and that sort of thing. We put Repsilin on them, it seems to stop that in its tracks. It seems to stop the itch? Yes. And if it stops the itch, and then obviously it must heal more naturally. Is that, is that, That's is that, right. Uh, well, the then point? they don't rub and you have a nice looking tail. Okay. And you've got uh, a stud farm, is this correct? Yes, we do. And we use it a great deal on all sorts of things. My staff are very keen on using it too. Okay. And what's the name of the stud farm? Um, Milkwood Stud. In Sardinia Bay, Port Elizabeth. Okay, and it's well known, I believe. We, I would like to think so. <laughs> <laughs> Nina, thank you very much indeed. Thank you, John. Thanks, Thank you.